welcome to match week 36 of the championship where leaders Bournemouth pay a visit to second placed Millwall and the Cherries score with their very first attempt at Stott Cantwell who virtually expands the gap to 11 points. Millwall cannot let that happen, Afobe misses the one all and shortly after the break Cantwell is there again but no goal this time. Millwall have to bide their time and bring on Mason Bennett as an extra striker and that pays off. McNamara with the cross and Bennett heads in the one-all final score to keep the gap between both clubs at eight points. Coventry fail to get next to Millwall because they lose at home to Stoke City with a header from centre-back Harwood Bellis, 1-0. And also West Bromwich failed to move up in the table. Billy Sharp puts Sheffield United in front. And it's Andy Carroll who saves a point with his first ever Albion goal. One all at the Hawthorns. That gives Fulham the chance to jump over Coventry and West Brom to third place. Away at Derby County it's Mitrovic who opens the score. Neskis Kebano who doubles it. And also Rodrigo Muniz gets to score his second of the season. Fulham are just two points away from Millwall. Birmingham travel to Blackburn for a slaughter. John Buckley opens the score in style. Ben Brereton is denied once by Neil Etheridge, but not twice. Lovely volley, 2-0. After Brereton's 14th goal, it's Ryan Hedges with the 3-0. And Reda Kadra gets the last one. Rovers move up to 7th place. Just one point behind Middlesbrough who take on Cardiff City. Tavernier makes it 1-0. And Arsenal lonely Fuller in Balogun bags his first one for the Borough. 2-0. Borough lonely Uche Ikpizu pulls one back for Cardiff. 2-1. Preston and Barnsley split the points with goals from Domingo Skina and Emil Ries Jakobsen, one all. And Bristol City go down in Nottingham. Sande Silva gets his first one for Forrest. Antoine Semenyo equalizes for Bristol. And golden boy Brennan Johnson scores the winning goal for Gary Baldi. Swansea cannot afford to lose points against Peterborough and take the lead via Joel Peru. The posh get only one chance and the 2-0 is denied by the post. It remains 1-0 for the Swans. QPR and Luton have both been doing well lately. Andre Gray makes it 1-0 but Luton are dangerous too and equalize via Harry Kornick. Jeff Hendrick has the chance to win it for the R's, but he misses. Reading versus Huddersfield is a must-win game for both sides. The Terriers take the lead when O'Brien sets up John Russell. A very clever move. But like usual, they concede right away. Youngster Jamari Clark with the one-all. But today is Huddersfield's lucky day. Sorbao Thomas with the winner. And town jump over Reading to a safe spot. And finally, also the bottom two meet in Hull. Josh Bowler puts Blackpool in front and Marcus Force makes it one all at half time. But the second half is a nightmare for the Tigers. Gary Medine makes it 2-1. Jerry Yates adds a third. And CJ Hamilton determines the 4-1 final score. Blackpool are still alive. All are nearly dead. See you next week. Peace.